You'll notice you can run an auto hot sheet. It will give you today's date. It will reflect either new or status change listings on the entire MLS. So if you're going to run this, be patient because it's going to take a while to generate all the data. The other option is to manually run the hot sheet. This is the most effective use of the hot sheet function. Usually, you want to know just the latest status changes in your market area of interest, so use the hot sheet function. This one will allow you to enter in specific criteria to get your latest status changes. You can narrow it down by a date range, or you can narrow it down by specific days. So if you're gone on a three-day weekend and you want to know what happened on the MLS over the last three days as far as any new listings or any status changes. Or the other option, which is really cool, you can run from last run date. You can also narrow it down by choosing any specific information from these fields. But for now, let's run the report since the last time we ran it. We have 96 new you'll be able to see the MLS number and click on it to go to the page, what class it's in, the type, area, address, city, state, zip, the status of it, the hot sheet date, hot sheet type, and hot sheet comments. Hot sheet comments will reflect any comments agents put, if any. If you see auto maintained by nightly processing, this means the Paragon system automatically changed the status. After three days, our Paragon system will automatically change a new listing to the active status. You can even troubleshoot this yourself by going to the listing, click on the MLS number, and there's a couple ways you can troubleshoot. The action button with the H on it stands for history. When you click on it, it will bring up the property history detail. And then you will see that the status was changed to active from new and the system will automatically do this for you. But it is a change, which is why it shows up on your hot sheet. You can also, you can also click on the reports tab and under specialty views, you will see property history report. When you click on it, it will bring up a full page of the same property history detail report. I hope this helps.